What's up, internet? My name is Kyle, back with another episode about cameras, tech, and all that good stuff. Today, as a photographer myself, I wanted to recommend you guys five apps that I think are really cool for photography, editing, different kind of things. Five apps, here we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on the side of the screen, I'm not sure which side yet, I'm gonna put the view of my phone there so you can see it and uh, see what I'm clicking on. Okay, so I have a photo and video folder and I wanna talk about a couple apps in here. So the first one I wanted to talk about is, I think it's called Kmon, Kmon Classic Camera. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I really, really like this app, I hit that and then it opens up this kind of old school looking Kodak camera. I'm gonna show the camera what it looks like here. And oh look, someone liked a comment. But uh, yeah, it's like the old school Kodak uh, disposable film cameras that you could get. Whoa, almost dropped my phone. So anyway, there's a couple things I don't like about this app, but I feel like the cons aren't enough to sway me from using it because I do really like what the app offers. So first off, you could take pictures horizontally like an old school camera and um, it gives you filters to show the kind of film like looks that you could achieve before kind of in error or purposely with light flares or all different types of stuff. So I don't actually take pictures with it. So what I do is I hit the little, uh, I hit this little icon here to go and bring my own pictures in. The first thing that I don't like, well, second thing, first thing was that it's horizontal only. Second thing that I don't like is that it only goes to your photos album. So you can't pick another album like favorites, for example, which is usually where the photos I wanna edit are, but it's it's a small nitpick. I can, I can live with having just the photos album available. So I'll find a picture that I want. I'll pick a picture of my dog here. And when you bring it in, it looks like this. So it's horizontal still. And then um, the last bad thing about the app is that it has too many filters. There are like hundreds of filters and it, it gets a little crazy. So what you can do is you can change the overall look of the image in this section. I'm just gonna go with something kind of old timey and faded. And then you can change the direction of the type of like flares that it has or discoloring. Um, and then you can also change the grain and stuff like that. So you can do like the imperfections on the film, which is really cool. I, I actually like that a lot. And then from here, you can save it and post it on Instagram and, or use it for whatever. Um, I really just, I love the effects that are in this app. Like I said, I know there are other apps that do this. If you know of a better one that has this many options, like over a hundred that you can save stuff and it's vertical, let me know, but come on classic, the little yellow icon. I like your app, just change the stuff that I don't like. Okay, so the next app I've talked about before, but I like it so much that in case you didn't see me talk about it in another video, which I, I even forget what video it was. Oh, it was the Instagram video. But anyway, it's called Unum, U-N-U-M. And it's really cool. It's free, there is a paid version, but you don't have to pay for it, obviously. You can use the free version and get some cool features. Some of the things I really like about it are you can have a grid that is an extension of your Instagram grid, and you can also share to Instagram from this grid. So if you wanna plan stuff, like I tried to plan out these um, pictures of these flowers, but the colors of those flowers on Instagram the quality just gets destroyed. Instagram has a really hard time with reds and pinks. So I was gonna post them, but they looked terrible. So they're still here on my Unum grid and I can move them around if I want to. I tap and then tap another one and you hit the two little arrows going two different ways and you can swap them. You can even select more than two and swap them around. Um, and yeah, you can place things on a grid that looks exactly like Instagram and plan it a little bit more if you want to, or you can just see how something's gonna look without actually posting it to Instagram, which I think is really cool. A feature I really like is you can hide the Instagram badge on there so it looks like a flush Instagram grid, or you can, um, you can leave that on, or you can hit the little squiggly arrow to shift the grid down so you can like 
see your next post and then if you want to see it move down or in a certain spot you can also kind of shift your grid down and kind of just really see what your grid's going to look like no matter what you do which is really cool i really love this app it's funny i'll go like a while not using it and then all of a sudden i'll get back into using it but i, I just really love what it offers it also offers some analytics if you hit kind of the line dot graph in the bottom right you can see a bunch of insights you can see you know uh, likes and comments you can see uh, your top post you can see even best times to post which a lot of people like to see that and you can see that really easily in here and you can also see your best hashtags like the most popular or most liked photos with the hashtags that you've used which it's really helpful Anyway, I don't really get into the analytics that much. I just like using the grid to preview what it's gonna look like on Instagram. Okay, and next is one of my favorite apps to date that I just started using, which a lot of people ask me about on my Instagram, is Mojo. I forget how I even stumbled upon this app, but what is really cool is it's for your Instagram stories. Um, and I mean, you can share these mojo kind of moving things anywhere you want, Facebook and stuff like that, but it really works well for Instagram stories. And I think that's what it's designed for. But what's really cool is they have free templates. So it's not a, you know, you don't have to pay for certain things if you don't want to. And I think the free ones that they offer are really cool. Like this one right here has one, two, three, four, five different pictures that you can put in this grid when you post it to your story, it does this little animation and it looks really cool. And then you can also go to my templates and you can have some saved things like I have a before and after template that I kind of like to do sometimes with a picture before edits and a picture after edits. Here's an example of a before and after I did in Mojo where I had a building up in the top right and then in the after, I obviously removed that so you can kind of see, oh, that's what it looked like before. There was a building there, something like that. If I go to my stories, you'll see that I actually have photos in here from when I was using the Kamoon Classic camera app with the old school kind of filters on it and then I put them into Mojo and kind of made a really cool cohesive kind of piece of art and I really liked it and I shared it on my Instagram. Also something really cool is I was doing some photography for my friend Mike, uh, AKA Renegade is how I know him. He is a cosplayer and we went to this con in um, the Philadelphia area and we did this real kind of cool shoot out by these trucks and I did some little animated things and I sent them to him and he was just so stoked on them. And it was really cool because it like adds to his character, adds to his cosplay, and he gets to share it for everybody to see. And it was really cool. I, I like the black and white with the winter soldier kind of coming into the front of him. Some of you may know I did a podcast with my friend Steve for Broin Up podcast. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to listen to that. But this one here, I ripped a quote from the podcast and I put it over it and I sent it to him for use for his Instagram and stuff to kind of, you know, promote the podcast. And I just thought this is really cool if I ever do a podcast in the future and I want quotes and I can do photos of people. Anyway, I'm like getting way off track here, but this app is really cool. I figure if a lot of people are asking you, hey, how did you do that? What are you using? It's, it's kind of a worthwhile app and, it, and it's pretty cool. Also really like Mojo for um, photo sets or photo series that you wanna post to your Instagram story, like this one here. Um, my friend Mike being the Winter Soldier and he found another Winter Soldier and they did the whole like, oh my God, who are you type thing. And it just works really well when it kind of cascades down and it's like, you know, it just kind of tells you a little story in a couple of photos, which is really cool. Okay, moving on is Smug Mug, which I, I really love Smug Mug. It's also a website. Um, there's a couple things that you can't do in the app. The biggest feature that is not done in the app that is done on a website is ordering prints. So I'm debating if I'm gonna share a link with you guys for my Smug Mug because these are some clients that we've shot photographs for before, but I'll probably put the link in the description. So basically what it is, is it's like a lot of different websites out there where you can host photos, send a private link to your client or a link to whoever to view the photos and then they can purchase prints through the website. You can't purchase prints through the app. I really wish you could do that because I feel like I would 
keep using this for all future client stuff, but um, it's not that hard to get to the website from the app to purchase something, but it's still, I wish you could do it within the app. So say I wanted to buy a print from my Comic-Con photography, I can go in here, pick this one of Mike, and then if I hit the little share button up top, and then I do open in Safari, it's gonna take me to the web version and then the buy link is right there. So it's really not that hard, it's two buttons, but I'm already signed in on my phone in the web, so I don't know, it might be like a barrier if somebody's trying to buy something. It's just, I wish it was on the app. I've probably said that five times. So anyway, I really like it because you can customize how the albums display for the customer. You can do it in a collage format. You can do landscape or all vertical. You can, you can kind of make it look like the way you want it to be presented to the customer. And it's really cool. I also just really like their interface. I love just kind of how everything looks on Smug Mug. I've tried other websites where they're kind of, you know, for the client type things and I've just settled on Smug Mug. It's also fairly cheap. Um, I don't know how many albums it limits you to, but for like five or six dollars a month, it's a great website and it's fast. I've never had a problem with slowness or sluggishness or anything like that. And it gets the job done. You can send a link to somebody that's private, does all the things that you need to kind of give photos to a client with privacy or you know any kind of use and it's great. Okay, and the next app is called Color Story. And it's funny because I actually don't use this app. I'm going to start using it just because of the results that I've seen my girlfriend get from using this app. She uses this app on her phone mainly to edit. I use Lightroom 99.9% .9 of the time and she uses Color Story a lot on her phone. She'll use Lightroom on her laptop, but when it comes to just kind of quick and dirty, kind of doing something creative, she uses Color Story. I'll show some photos on the screen of kind of what she's used this for. Basically color manipulation. I think it does like all of the editing stuff, but she's used it for color stuff and the results that she's gotten out of it have been awesome. Um, maybe you guys think so too. I don't know, but I really like what she's done with some of the photos I took of her, by the way. But yeah, the colors are really cool. I love what she's done with it and I'm excited to try it out. Okay, so those were all five, but I wanna talk about one more, which is probably the very obvious one I wanna talk about, and that is Lightroom Mobile. I've done a couple videos on Lightroom Mobile, I think two at this point, kind of talking about different features and stuff like that. And they actually just put a new feature in called Texture, which obviously adds texture to your photos. But what's really cool about Lightroom Mobile is if you use the premium version, the features you get. You can obviously get Lightroom Mobile for free, but there are some features that are missing and the premium version is five bucks a month. So some people don't wanna pay a couple bucks a month for an app, I totally get it. But for me, for how much I'm editing photos, sometimes I get paid for it, sometimes I don't, sometimes it's just for what I enjoy. I like this app and the five bucks a month is totally worth it in my opinion. A couple key features that you get if you actually pay the monthly subscription for Lightroom Mobile is that you get selective editing. You also get the healing tool, which is amazing. You can take out power lines, you can take out smudges or stuff that's on your lens or sensor. In Lightroom Mobile, the paid version, you can edit raw photos. That is a huge thing for me. I shoot basically all of my photos in raw. If you're only shooting in JPEG and you're doing minor edits, Lightroom free is the way to go. But if you wanna edit raw photos, you need the paid version. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. We talked about six different apps that I use on a daily basis. Maybe you guys haven't heard of some of them. Maybe you wanted to know a little bit more about them. I don't know. Join me down in the comments. Let's talk about these different apps and apps that you guys use because I know there are thousands and thousands of apps, maybe even millions at this point. I have no idea, but if you guys think there are cool apps that I need to know about, tell me down below. I would love to talk to you guys about different apps for photography. All right, guys, thank you again. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next episode. Later.